In this video I'll show you how to use the if and a function from Microsoft Excel. Now this is one of the logical functions from Excel and if we look closer at the description of it, it says that it returns the value that we specify if the expression resolves to NA, otherwise it returns the result of the expression. And if we look at the parameters, it takes a value and a value if NA. And now this value in here stands for a function or something that we provide to it. And if that thing evaluates to NA, then the function will return this value if NA parameter from here. Otherwise, it will return whatever this in here returns. And I have a practical example in here with uh, some employees that have a base salary and uh, they also have some bonuses in here and I'm going to use the VLOOKUP function to bring the bonus in here and add it to the base salary. And first, let me just start by writing the base salary plus VLOOKUP and we're going to look for the name of the employee in this table in here, which I'm going to make an absolute reference to and we're getting the values from column 2 and I'm gonna enter 0 because I want exact matches and if I hit enter you can see that over here things are great I get two thousand and five hundred dollars because it has a bonus and it has a base salary and together uh, it uh, adds to twenty five hundred dollars but if I drag the formula down over here to Dwight you can see that I get NA because the VLOOKUP has returned NA and in this case the if NA function comes in handy and I'm able to enter it over here I'm just going to control X the VLOOKUP function and add if NA paste the VLOOKUP in here and add 0 as the value if NA parameter and close this parenthesis here and now if this VLOOKUP returns NA this function will return 0 and 0 can be added to the value in between here and I will still get 2000 instead of NA and if I if I hit enter you can see that uh, this is true and I drag the formula down and this is it this is a practical example of how to use the if NA function in Microsoft Excel